Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you again for joining us here at CCSC. Welcome back to our Blackwoods map build for 2022. We're going to have a quick episode today. We're just going to build a small little residential area and reach the next milestone of small city. And the area that we're going to build up is this little area over here by the water. Stay tuned. We're going to build all of this and show you how. And let's get right into today's episode. So the area that we're going to develop is this little residential area on the hill over here. And this is Emerson Square. And the very first thing that we have already done is rezone this off to unincorporate the farmland and get the farmland off. Uh, we've also moved Meadow Park's zone up a little bit. Uh, they are going to have this commercial square and Emerson Square is going to have these two commercial squares. So they'll have these two, they'll have these two. Uh, so we're going to ta tackle uh, just building a small little residential episode. As said, it's going to be um, a quick episode today. Just build a small little residential area. So the very first thing that we're going to do is delete this road here. Uh, it does kind of go with the natural terrain. If you go to your info views, you can check out the level terrain area. Uh, so it does kind of go with the terrain, but we're going to kind of avoid that. And we're also going to delete this road here. And we're going to build a little commercial square down here at this end. We're going to start with these tree-lined roads. And of course. Now, we do have enough money, so let's go ahead and relocate this. Just over one or two squares. That'll work. Now we can go ahead and build that road. So we're going to just run a little commercial square right next to the farmland. And that'll just come up this way. And right about here... I believe is where we want to stop. And this is going to be on a steep slope, uh, but it will work. Uh, I will show you what I mean. And coming out, I think we'll go there. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create kind of a little square up in this area uh, for the residential streets. That is not what we meant to do. Let's go ahead and reconnect that before everyone starts complaining. And we will probably have to move those in a little bit. We're also going to have to move these wind turbines. Uh, but So this is going to be our commercial center, just this little square here. It's not going to have too much commercial, uh, but that's going to be a little commercial center. And then up here on this hillside, this is all going to be residential. We're going to have a couple high-density residential, but mostly low-density residential. So the very first thing that I want to do is kind of level the terrain a little bit. And we'll go to the level tool, and we're going to go ahead and bring it all down to about this size here. We'll go up and to the tallest strength. And once we level this terrain a little, then we can build a lot easier up here. And it'll kind of just be the little area on the hillside. So now that all that's level, we can go ahead and throw down our streets. And the very first thing that I want to do is run a street probably here. Let's go ahead and go to our terrain view. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we're going to go ahead and run a street. Oh. And let's go ahead and go with the bicycle road. We're going to run a street here. And this is going to go pretty much all the way up to the highway. And then down. And then back in. And that is going to be our main residential area for Emerson Square. And the very next thing that we need to do is relocate these. And I've already scoped out a couple spots. We're going to move this one here and one more down there. Because I think that those can stay there. I think that they can stay there permanently and they'll just be on the edge of the... Let's try and get to 8. Can we get 8 anywhere? Yeah, there we go. Uh, they'll just be on the edge of the neighborhood. Now we need to make sure to reconnect these with power lines. And we'll go ahead and run down. And actually we'll connect to this so that it's all connected to the grid and to that uh, pumping station there. Now we need to relocate the rest of them. And they are going to go to a temporary spot for right now. Go ahead and put one of them here. And one of them right next to it. Let's try and get eight if we can. Uh, seven, but that'll work. That's all right. Uh, and that, of course, is connected. All right, so now we need to make sure, is any of this not connected? That is not connected. All right. So let's go ahead and run this here just to connect that up. And we can run this down here for now and over. 
Now, we can continue our street, and we're just going to bring this down, uh, probably to about here, and then we're going to hook it in. Let's go ahead and go to our curve tool, and hook it into the intersection there. So it kind of has an entrance, it kind of has an exit, but this is just going to be a very small residential area, and this is going to be on the hill, on the water, next to our farmland. Um, that electric should sort itself out, but let's go ahead and bump this up. Three times speed, is all that going away, or are we missing something? I think we are missing something. I don't know what we deleted, but we're missing something. And let's go ahead and run this down to here, and down to there. Let's see if that fixes our problem here. I think it will. Yeah, I don't know what we disconnected. Uh, these are no longer connected. Can we go above this? No, I didn't think so. Alright, so we need to go... across here. And is that going to delete anything? That doesn't look like it's deleting anything. Perfect. Alright, so that should work, and of course those are really tall. Those are all going to be temporary anyway. Once we get this figured out, we will uh, remove what we can from the power supply. Uh, but very first, we need to connect this whole neighborhood. So now that's the basis of our little neighborhood. Um, I don't like that street there. Let's go ahead and delete this and then rebuild it. And sometimes that fixes the problem just on its own. Let's go ahead and see if this will work. Eh, it's a little less steep, but that's really steep. Um, hmm. I think I want to take care of that. We're going to go ahead and delete that, that, and that and go to our terrain tool and make sure this is level. Yeah, that might be our problem. Let's go ahead and level that up a little bit and then we'll run this road over. Yeah, that should take care of our problem. There we go. Now, back to our bicycle lane road and we will reconnect all this bicycle path later. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, I don't want any big giant. Yeah, that is perfect. Nice gentle elevations. And this back road back here, this isn't going to have any shops on it necessarily. We might have a couple. Uh, so we can go ahead and start zoning off our areas here. Uh, we're, as mentioned, we're going to add some commercial. And I think we're going to add, should we do high density? I think we're going to do low density over here. So we're going to do a couple high, low density shops there. And maybe a small one here. And a small one on the corner, I think. And then definitely a small one back here and maybe just a sporadic one or two and one on this corner I think will work and that should do it for the commercial demand for this area there shouldn't be too much commercial demand and those little couple shops that should answer it now we can go to our residential area areas and I think so as mentioned in previous episodes we're going to have all nine of these tiles these nine tiles here, and the downtown area is kind of going to be on the tips of all these islands. Uh, so I think this back air might be, it might be an area to have a couple high density residential buildings. So I think we're going to go ahead and zone this off as high density residential. And actually, let's go ahead and delete that. That let's go ahead save this tree. We're going to put three here and three here, three by four and three by four. Um. Actually, I think, ah, let's go ahead and keep it. That's fine. So at the top of this, they'll have uh, high-density residential, and it looks like, uh, of course, we need water. So at the top, we'll have high-density residential, and then the rest of it will all be uh, low-density residential. Let's go ahead and just run this around the street line here real quick and connect back over here, and that should take care of everything. Uh, we're not connected there, which isn't a big deal, but we'll go ahead and do that. And then we can go ahead and delete that. There we go. Uh, not a big deal, but might as well. So, now we are all connected with water, and that we've got a couple high-density residential buildings over there. Now we can go ahead and zone off the rest of this, but this area I want to specialize with a few stipulations. And what I want is self-sufficient buildings. 
The self-sufficient buildings is a residential specialization that is part of the Green Cities DLC. Self-sufficient buildings, uh, they consume less energy, they produce less garbage, they generate 30% less tax income. But we're doing okay with money. As you can see, we've got the coffers full. We're at $92,000 in the bank, and we're making $3,000 a turn. So I want to go ahead and zone off this entire area here as self-sufficient buildings. And I do not remember if that's going to destroy these commercial buildings or not. I hope not, because I really actually like the way this looks. Uh, this is what I was hoping for, having a little bit of a hillside here. And that's why I only zoned off some of these areas, and I wanted to keep those rocks back there. We can do a little bit more work to detail that and make it look good. But it doesn't look like those commercial buildings are closing. I think that'll be fine. And uh, the residential building there, you can see that demolished because it wasn't a self-sufficient building. So these will all be self-sufficient buildings now, and that is the first thing that you want to do. <laughs> so, my apologies, but nonetheless, now we can go ahead and zone off a bunch of low-density residential. So we're going to go ahead and go to our fill tool. We're going to do this, and let's go to select. I just want on this hillside back here. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and all of that. Then we're going to go ahead and put in a park. And I think we're going to go with the biggest park. Um, let's go ahead and look. Park with trees. Yeah, that fits in almost perfectly. So let's go ahead. Ooh. Should we put this? I think we should put this somewhere over here. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it'll handle the hill there. We could put it here. Huh. That's actually not a bad idea. Utilize the uh, space next to the highway and have a park. That's really not a bad idea. Um, I don't mind that. I think that'll look pretty good actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, can we get, yeah, let's put it a little south. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. And we might be able to connect with a park path under the bridge over to this residential area of Garland Square that we're going to build in later episodes. Yeah, I like that. I'm good with that, that works. Nice little park right up against the, uh, the riverside there. That looks good. I am very happy with that. So we can go ahead and zone off. Uh, let's go Let's go with the select tool. Let's give a little bit of space here. But we'll put a house there. And then we'll go to the fill tool and we'll put a couple of houses here, 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 and here. Uh, we'll leave a little space between the high density and the uh, low density residential buildings. But and now that that is complete, we can probably delete some of these power lines. Oh. Let's go with this. Yeah, this is all connected, so we can delete this, and this, and this. So that's a start. And then let's finish zoning. We'll go to our fill tool and zone off all of those. And we've only got one little section left there. So we can go ahead and just delete this power line, zone that off, and then reconnect the power. And there we go. So that is our little residential area of Emerson Square. We've got uh, we've got quite a few houses. I wanted to keep it kind of away from the farmland. I wanted it to be far separate enough. So we've got a few houses back here on this more or less level strip. Uh, all of these are self-sufficient buildings. We need to add a couple more parks before all this fills in. And I think we're going to go ahead and just do my favorite go-to, a basketball and a tennis court. Let's go ahead and put the basketball there. And can we put, no, of course not. We could put the tennis court here. Let's put it there. I like that, that works with me. So this whole corner is tennis court, basketball court, and park. There is a house building up right in the middle there. Um, let's leave them. If they can stay there, that's cool with me. I'm all right with that. Uh, we could destroy them to give it more of an authentic look, but nonetheless, that's fine. Uh, we are now going to connect this park over here with a nice little river walk behind all these buildings. And then we'll go to the straight tool. And so all of these houses back here, now they have a, a little area for people to walk by. And let's go ahead and take this down and then remove this zone. And there we go, that tree will stay in place. So all the people can walk around by the river and we can do a little less dramatic of a turn here because that takes it down by the water quite a bit. Let's see if we can just get a straight line here. Oh, come on now. What is this? <laughs> All right, so now we should be able to get kind of a straight line here. There we go. 
So that's a little less down by the river. We could go ahead and terraform. And let's go ahead and do that. We're going to delete this again and put it right back in just a second. We'll go to the level tool and we want that. And let's just bring all of this up here. And then, so you can see it lifted the park path. And now we can connect that. So now no one has to go down a steep hill that they would not survive. Uh, you can see we're on top of a turbine here. So that looks much better. And you can see people are already utilizing it. Fantastic. Uh, so we could go ahead and do the same on the other side. But let's go ahead and finish this park path. Let's go ahead and terraform. Oh, that is not what we wanted to do. Level terrain. Uh, let's go ahead and terraform a little bit more to connect the rest of this park path up over here. And you can see we're getting a little close to the water, but it should be fine. We're not going to have a K wall here because of how close it is to the water. But let's go ahead and go with the curve tool and kind of bend this around back here. And there we go. So now there is a nice little park path all the way around the back of these houses that the people can walk and get up close to the river walk. Now we could also run another park path. So I typically like to run park paths uh, in between areas of housing kind of like this. But it looks like if we do that now we're going to destroy a house. Uh, no matter how we do it we're going to destroy at least one house. And we have reached our next milestone. That's what I wanted to accomplish in today's episode. Like I said, it's going to be a short video. We're going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, we are getting prepared for the next episode. Episode 5 is going to be a big one. We've now reached the milestone of Small City. We've unlocked trains, monorails, cable cars, uh, quite a few different uh, policies and things unlocked with all of the DLCs. You can see in the top left corner, the basketball arena here at the top left corner, that is part of the university's DLC. Uh, a lot of this is part of DLCs. If you get up here, uh, all of the little bus there in the top left corner, that's part of the transportation's DLC. Uh, we will get into all of that. Let's bump this down to one time speed. We will get all into all of that in the next episode. I wanted to do a quick episode just to get us up to the milestone in which we can add the train station over here in the next episode. I just wanted to build a nice little residential area and we're not quite done. I want to go ahead and do a little bit more work here on camera with you as we watch the episode. I don't think we're going to run a park path down here. Um, unfortunately that house has already been built and I think that's fine. We're just going to put a few more trees back here to make it look a little bit more natural. And we're gonna go ahead and do something like that. And then we can put a few more trees over here, back in this area. And then we want to do pretty much the same thing with the oak trees. This whole area is just pretty much oak and evergreen. And you're just kind of blending everything in and making it look natural. And if there's obviously anything out of sorts that you don't like, you can go in and delete. Any, sometimes they build things too close to the water. Let's go ahead and remove that. Let's go ahead and remove that and that. Oh, and definitely these two. And that should be fine. That looks nice and natural, nice and level. Uh, terraforming, very important aspect of the game, as mentioned. This whole little area here, I, I love it. This is a great little area. We've got just a couple buildings to make it stand out. These two tall buildings here are residential buildings. They are far away from the parks, and that is one downfall. I wanted to put a park kind of in the middle here, but we zoned off too much to start. So we put the park down here. Uh, they are too far away from the parks. I would rather have the high density residential closer to the parks so that people can play. Uh, nonetheless, I really like this, uh, this business area here. The whole hillside, this is, it's hard to get good looking areas just on hillsides like this, just with the regular gameplay. But if you give enough space, you can see that the game will actually kind of accommodate. Now we can go in and soften the terrain here just a little bit. And get this looking a little bit better. But it really, they nailed it. They did a great job. And that's about it. That's all that we can do. Now we can add a couple trees. And if you want, you can add some moss uh, to hide a lot of this. So we'll go ahead and add a few trees, and we're just going to add them with our hand here. And this just kind of hides a little bit of the ridges that you're trying to cover up. So now look at it, and you don't notice a lot of the ridges so badly. We can throw a couple more trees here, 
and here. And now you don't notice those ridges at all. It looks really good. This is a fantastic looking uh, commercial area, if I say so myself. Now, we can go ahead and soften this terrain a little bit, though, because this does not need to be so jagged on the back of these houses. So we'll soften this up a little, and that looks much better. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and level terrain to the length of the houses and get it a little more smooth and then soften this area here and then that should make it look even a little bit more natural now as said uh so many times in this series terraforming is a huge part of the game and sometimes with ps4 with console with xbox it's a huge part and you can't get it just right so just add a tree it's cool don't worry no one will notice it will look fine add a couple trees and boom that looks great that looks just fantastic Add a few more trees back here to cover the foreground, maybe one in the backyard, and there we go. That looks great. No worries. Easy peasy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining the episode. As mentioned, just a quick episode today. We got our population up to small city milestone. Uh, as you can see, we have plenty of work left to do. Always a pleasure. Thank you for joining the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.